puzzle time. Just take a shifty. So we'll treat this like the answer to chess process as we do with the puzzles. So we'll take our time, try and look at all the variations and we have to find the one that this is actually choosing. We do like to challenge them because sometimes there's many different variables, but there might be the slightest of movements that the actual system wants you to take because it's the potentially the strongest maneuver might not be our favorite maneuver it might not be what we naturally want to do but we have to try and get into the mindset of what it is that they are actually saying not all of them a hundred percent proof like i've said before um but the majority of them now i think they have improved a bit and you really do have to find what it is they're looking for so the knight is on the edge here immediately my brain's going do i just attack the rook does that give me a better position if he moves back then the rook can come here and put a check on the king and the king can't come here because the knight's protecting this square so the king would have to go back but it's not like a checkmate type thing. But my brain is drawn, drawn to that one first. So there might be benefits to that. Right, so we'll come back to that. We do have a check on the king here. Obviously the king can just dance around. It's not forcing anything. So we're trying to look for things that are kind of forcing. Next thing then I just jump to here. I'm thinking, well, what does that mean? It's not forcing anything either. Because the pawn can push down, but we can take if they do take then we take, then we lose the pawn in a sense because the knight will take. I might have done that too fast, but somewhere along the line, I think we'd just lose the pawn if we did that. So I am drawn to the knight coming here, putting the check on the rook. I mean, it's not forcing, but it's attacking a piece. If that piece then... It could come down and attack, like we said. The rook can go and put a check on the king. The king only has a few squares to go to here to here or to here. Probably to here so that this... But the knight is protecting this square. So the rook can't go and then continue putting checks on. And the rook is on the knight. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I'm, my head is not in the picture at the moment. So one, two, three, four, five. Five pawns. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I'm still drawn to that. Put in a check here. This, this rook is in the center of the board. It just doesn't. It doesn't look like it's going to be playing any part of the game whatsoever. The only thing that is can get active is this knight attacking the rook. And the rook has options. It can stay there or it can sacrifice itself for some strange reason. So it could go back. It's just, it just doesn't look too meaty, does it? You'd think he'd come down and attack the rook uh, knight. Because then the knight potentially has to move again. Is there some sort of... Mm -mm. No. Knight comes here, rook comes down and attacks the knight. We'll go and attack the king. King can't come here. Comes up. Doesn't even have to do that though because the knight is protecting the square. So it could go here. It is kind of blocking their rook. And I don't think they would go there because we'd get a check on them anyway, wouldn't we? With the knight. Oh, we can't because the rook's there. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Need to get my picture in. I'm sure it's this. If they attacked. Let's do this one first. If they attacked, Rook puts the check. 
King goes here, let's do this option first. King goes there, he's still on our rook, so really, that's not a good picture, is it? Because he's still on the rook, their rook is still on our knight. So then, we would in theory have to move the knight but then we'd lose the rook so it, maybe it's not that or maybe it is just this bit but not this rook bit okay so knight attacks the rook rook comes down attacks the knight so then the knight's looking for a better home so what's the better home for the knight from here could come here it's not forcing anything though and their rook can come and face off there, there. Yeah, that's just no, it's no, to me, there's no forcey forcey moves. So maybe it's not that after all. Okay, got to think wider. I mean, that's not doing anything, is it? Rook up, it's not force, there's no, no force, not winning anything, it doesn't look right. Okay, step back, step back. So what was the thing I was teaching myself when I was doing these puzzles? I was playing this game. Come back on the evaluation. And it says a simple manoeuvre. I think the simple manoeuvre is this. <laughs> I really do. There's not much activity going on. Pawns. Let's go. Let's look at this pawn stuff because the knight is currently covering this square. So that might be its strength. So if we push the pawn, and then if they did take, no, because they've got the rook and the knight there. Yeah, we push, they take, we take. Knight can take quite easily. All the rook, well, the knight can take. The knight can take. Maybe it is that. Takes. Takes. Because then it does open up this rook, doesn't it? Pushed. Captures. Captures. Knight takes, he's on our knight. Rook comes and puts a check on the king. King can't come across, so it either comes here or goes here. Probably go here. This rook can go here, but then the king can hide down here. So I think there must be something a little bit better than that. All right, okay. Pushed. It's not forcing though. It doesn't have to take <laughs> at all. Could just do something else. Could just bring his rook. Maybe not there. Bring his rook attacking. Lots of cuds and cuds there. Although it does give a, give a good flavour of getting this rook here, putting the check on. It's just that he does escape. Although this rook is still here, so it could face the... Let's break this down again. Push the pawn. They take. We take. The knight takes. The rook comes and puts a check on. The knight is not covering that square. The king moves across. We come and put a check on the king. The king... It's not, well they could go here, no they can't because this rook is covering, so then they come here, this rook is here, so put a check here, and it can go either way, can't it? Put a check here, maybe it goes there because it doesn't want this other rook to come and get him, so the king's here, this rook's here, 
So this rook can take this pawn. There's no checkmatey type stuff. So is it this rook that takes the pawn? And then they're on the back. It looks a bit much to me, but it it looks like it could get something out of it. It just really doesn't look that forcing. Okay, we pushed here. If it doesn't take, and it does something else, then we can take. And his knight takes a lot if puts and maybes there. It's not that forcing. I am plumping for this pawn push now more more than the knight maneuver, or is it a combination of them? Is it a combination? Knight attacking the rook, rook comes down to attack, push the pawn up to protect the knight. Pawn takes, pawn takes. And the knight takes. The knight is covering here. Rook's got a bit of ability to come across. Bring the rook up, putting a check on the king. He can't come here. So he either goes. And the knight's not there anymore, protecting, so probably has to go here. And this rook can come across, put a check on the king. So then he has to slide across and then. Looks like there's some sort of oh, does he can he come here? Right, okay, that's a lot. That's a lot. Knight attacking the rook. Rook comes down to attack, push the pawn. Still not forcing me though, is it? Still not forcing. Mm, 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 mm. Because this part, they should really do something about protecting the rook. If you're looking at checks, then that's a check on the king. That's forcing. They have to do something with the king, but they can do all sorts with the king. Can't they? they can come here, they can go there, they can come across, they could go here, they could go there. So, so many options for them. This is threatening the higher piece. Higher piece comes down to attack. We defend the knight. Like I say, they don't have to do any of the pawn taking type things. They genuinely don't have to do any of that. This is a tricky puzzle. I'm not too sure what maneuver it's pertaining to at all. So I've got to treat it, treat it like I'm in a long play game. I'm taking my time. The opponent's getting frustrated. You know, why is this guy taking so long? Hmm. Bang. I mean, he could always just go back. There's no... There's too many ifs in this one. I'm sure there is. It's not that straightforward. Push. Say they do take for basicness. Because we still do have this rook going here. And then we take. And then the knight takes. So why is it <clears throat> why is it the rook can't take again? Let's have a look. Boom. Comes down. Boom. Takes. Takes. So the rook in theory could just take the pawn. Because the knight is happy guarding this square, so the rook could take the pawn. So the rook is here. Our knight is here. 
This is where we can bring the rook across and put some checks on the king. That's the to me that's the better forcing thing because pushing the pawn here I don't they don't have to take and it's not really it doesn't look that meaty to me. It's a good continuation concept I think to get this rook here to face the king. I think it has to start with this knight. I'm gonna to be totally wrong. What is the details? I do think it's that. I'd put a million dollars on it in being that. Down. Yeah, it must be because this rook is in the center here. It's got to be utilizing this square to put some pressure on. Shall we give it a try? It's not really forcing. Attacking a higher piece has got to be a half decent thing. Okay, well, here we go. Oh, we got a tick. <laughs> oh, and it's saying best move, keep going. Well, we have continued in our head already, haven't we? So let's just look at it again now that we're here. We did say we're going to push this pawn. But does it look different now? Because we could go with this check here on the king. But we didn't really like that too much for any further continuation because all he has to do is move back here move there whichever and there's no I can't see any further I mean that's not a good one because we'd get a check on his king here but I don't think they would do that so I do think it's this push thing here supporting the knight pawn takes pawn takes Definitely not this, is it? It's definitely not. Check. I mean, you get we can win a pawn, but then we lose the knight if we continue. And that's the problem because his king can just come back here, like we mentioned before. So we're still stuck, stuck in that sort of scenario. And now that we're in this position, I'm trying to see if the knight does have a check on his king, but it doesn't. This rook doesn't have any play at all. So I think we have to scrub that one out of the mental Rolodex. And just go with the pawn push. Oh, man. View the solution. Oh, my God, it was that and all. <laughs> it was that simple one and all. I cannot believe it. I've just lost 28 rating points because of that. It was that simple, but that didn't. What's the continuation on that? What, do you get an analysis or something on this? Um, no, there's no analysis. Hey, well, we said that right at the very beginning, didn't we? We were playing with these two. I mean, yeah, it hits the king, but I'm thinking, well, why can he not just go here? What am I missing? Oh, what's this? Can I put this on? Yeah, so he moves there, and that's what we were fearful of. Oh, my God, it's just going for grabbing a pawn. But we lose the knight, don't we? What is the deal? We get the rook. Is that the same? We get the rook, isn't it? If he takes there, we get the rook. Ah, oh, scrappy times, damn. Oh, I should have moved a little bit more, done a bit more calculation on that. I was so fearful of losing the knight. Didn't realize we could actually be winning their rook. Oh, I should have taken it a little bit further. So I thought these things aren't really forcing another I went for the, oh, shabby. We'll have to do another one. 
Um, next, continue training. Boom, 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 boom. Let's get into the game. So they've got a pawn that is ready to get promoted. But it looks like there's a bit of disturbance that could go on here with a check on the king. I think this is a speed thing because the king can't actually move there. So he's going to have to move here. What's the move order? Bishop takes with a check on the king. King comes here. It's on a dark square. We do have our own passer, but the bishop's taking taking that one. So that's simple, but doesn't look like it gives us anything. Could have the bishop attacking their rook, but he's coming down and he's taking our rook with a queen. Bishop doesn't have a check on the king because the pawn's there. Check. Can't go here. It has to go here. I don't have any pieces to mess with that, do I? In that position, under this pressure of this pawn, just getting ready. No, because the rook is going to be taken. don't think it's that but like in that first game the first maneuver that I saw basically was the one wasn't it mm -mm -mm. so it must that must be the stinger but I'm not sure how the where the follow one is from there because they're just about to take our rook and get queen so yeah it maybe it's not that basic. Some finessing. See if we take, then he's just gonna get a queen. But the queen is on the back. So then we could go with the rook here and get a checkmate. That's what that looks like to me. Just breaking that down because yeah, they can get the queen, but it's not got a check on our king. And it'll take one move or something to put a check on our king. Whereas I think taking here stops the king from coming here. I think we're going to go with that. And then just drop in here. Oh, hold on a minute. Don't go too fast, dude. There's a keep on going situation. So we could get the rook off the board. It's not really a checkmate thing, so we could go here because the bishop's supporting. King then has to come here, then we take it off the board. But then his bishop takes it off the board. That looks a little bit messy, doesn't it? If we come here attacking, uh, then we get the bishop off the board. Woohoo! But then it gets our pawn off the board. No, it doesn't because we've got, we're going to have a check on him, aren't we? Oh, no, we're not. Yeah, so if we go here like this, he's probably not going there because he's got the discover from our bishop. So it comes here on a white square. Goes there on the white square. If we're dropping down to take the bishop. And then he takes the pawn. That's if buts and maybes type thing, we take his pawn, but on the rook. Oh no, he's going to be on our king. What am I doing? If his rook takes the pawn, he's on our king. Up oh, for the king. King comes here. It's on a dark square. Dark square bishop can't get to it. Take the rook, bishop takes. Nah, no, that's no good, is it? I mean, they're ready to get a queen, dude. There must be a checkmate thing. There's, there has to be a checkmate because they're getting the queen. 
Why am I not seeing it? Cross. It comes across. I can't see any other piece being able to maneuver to get the king. No fancy stuff. Check. Change everything moves here. Hmm. I'm a, I'm at a loss again. Yeah, they're about to get a queen. Wait, what is the deal here? He definitely can go there, can't he? There, then they can go here because nothing's stopping that. Bishop's not getting there. Maybe the bishop attacks the rook. Bishop takes. There's nothing there, is there? No, there's no point doing that sort of sacrifice. That doesn't make any sense. Keep going. Damn. Damn you, puzzle. Check. All right, so maybe we don't take the rook, right? Let's look at that. They go here, so we don't take the rook. On a dark square, the bishop can't do anything to the king. See, if it was fast enough, probably bring this here type thing. and But that's not going to happen, is it? That's not going to happen at all. We're getting a queen. Or maybe there's still more moves we can make, even though they get a queen, because the queen still has to move that one space to get a check on our king. So is there another, another move that we can allow to go? I'm just not seeing it though, really. Bishop takes the pawn, but what is that doing? Ooh, do you know, I, I, I feel like there's a rhythm here. <laughs> so the one move that we said potentially could go, taking the pawn, they get queen, we bring the pawn, bishop back, but then the knight is actually defending this square, so we can't even come back here. Just thinking of getting a check on the king there, but that's not washing. One. One. But then it just goes here. It's not making any sense. Bishop. They get a queen. Check on the king. Oh no, he can't do that. What are you on about? The bishop's protecting the rook. Oh, I'm losing my marbles now. I'm losing my marbles. I bet it's a simple thing as well, isn't it? It can't be this because that's a little bit too. It's got a safe haven here. We are attacking the bishop. Oh, do you know? We're attacking the bishop. We're also actually on the pawn. It's just that our pawn's going, isn't it? They move there. And if we take the bishop, then he takes our pawn. Then we take we can't take this pawn because the knight is protecting. Okay, let's get activated. There, they move here. 
and this knight is protecting this square so the bishop's not really protecting apart from defending the pawn here well taking the pawn here so I don't think it's any of that is it has the magical king got anything what, what's the king got nothing no here check is it just a material gain type of situation so we grab the bishop they grab our pawn with a check on our king it's not very i don't think that's very good for us so we'd have to be dancing around here with the king wouldn't we oh no we've got a check no we haven't got a check on him he's moved his move oh no that doesn't work there 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 knight's guard in this square and bishop can put check on the king yeah, it's a bit wishy-washy that though because bishop putting a check on the king the rook can take the bishop what is it? Come on. <laughs> but in any money, it's that simple thing of just grabbing this bishop. Although, I mean, this is ready to go. Hmm. I wouldn't think tw uh, 22 rated puzzle would be so simple, would you? Check. Checks. I just can't do that getting queen or oh, have the bishops got some magical no they haven't hmm another one I'm going to get wrong I can't really see it other than just getting this bishop off the board but then it doesn't really help with this pawn down here because we've got such an advanced pawn up here and we're just going to let it go <clears throat> one, two, three, four. One, two. Hmm. That doesn't make any sense. I think I'm going to lose some more rating points on the puzzles. If I push this, I bet it just goes, no. That is not the way to go. Queen's here. Must be some sort of mate. Can't be a simple material game. So that's not really giving us much. We can't still take this pawn. I suppose the bishop could come round here and take this pawn and then be on the knight, putting pressure that way. It's just that when he takes, it's just that when we, if we did take the bishop and he takes the pawn, he's on our king. So we lose tempo. So that doesn't, to me, that doesn't make any sense. So we come here. And he's got a rook and a knight against a rook and two bishops so his rook's not going to come down here because it'll get taken it could come down here to support the pawn being pushed down and that's my concern yeah break it down there there take
Mm -mm -mm. Or does the bishop come here and just support the pawn? Put the check on, moves, take the pawn, supporting the pawn. But the bishop can escape then. <sighs> Bishop can attack the rook and stuff. Well, I suppose it can't, but I suppose it comes here. Well, a lot of if buts and maybes in this one. I'm not sure. Here, here. Takes, takes with the check. Move the king. So if it's material gathering, then that's what it is. With the idea of etc. So we're going to go for it. <gasps> oh, why is it saying keep going? Just <laughs> I hate puzzles. Okay, so we said we're going to take because we think it's a material thing. But now we're in the picture. Does it change? I mean, this is key because he's getting a queen. I think the rook just takes, doesn't it? We're just giving up this pawn, though. That, that, <laughs> we'll lose the opportunity to capture the bishop if we don't take the bishop. Because if we went a little bit arty and went like this as we covered, his bishop can just escape and potentially come and support the pawn coming down here. Let's risk it for a biscuit. Oh my God, keep going. <laughs> well, would the king move? I don't know which way I'm supposed to move. I, I said I was going to move here. Just to really kind of... I know the knight, he can come here, can't he? And... It's going to be trying to support the pawn. So come here, the rook is going to try and come down, try and support the pawn coming down. Bishop can block, it's just that this pawn can just attack. It's got to be the longest continuation I've had in a puzzle for a while. <clears throat> They usually stop after the first one or the second. Okay. So I don't think it's smart going here. I think it's just bringing the king here, isn't it? It can't be continuing on. Brings the rook down. How do we defend against it, though? That's the thing. If he brings the rook down, there's no checks on our king. So can we then start... Do we have any checks on his king? We have a bishop thing going here. <laughs> well, we said we can block, but I don't think that's going to be any good for us. What's this rook doing? No, nope, because the pawn's there. Bishop, no. Nope. I think he's just bringing this here. Well, I don't know why they're doing a continuation. And then it comes down. See, if he does come down, I can just take the um, pawn off the board with the rook. Because then the knight takes and the king just takes the rook. his knight got a whirlwind I think it's just simply bringing this here I don't understand why that why we're continuing oh at last crikey oh we've got some points back Whew, dearie me 38 points back that brings us back into the 2300s I'll say yeah that was okay but my gosh
I'm going to go for the last one now, and that is it. 23.13, we're back on track. We were 23.03, so now we're 23.13, so we've got two points up. Well, sorry, ten points up. Okay, let's see. What have we got here? Definitely the last one. Playing as white, it's our turn. This looks it looks simple because you, you've got pieces already directed towards the king, but I bet you any money it's not. Move order. Look at these rooks here. Back rank checkmate. You see in my head I'm thinking straight away it's gotta be a back ranker. But I bet it's a move order of sorts. Maybe the rook takes, but it's not forcing the king to take. Elements of attacking the queen, but the queen's looking to come round the back here for a back ranker. Queen doesn't have any protection on. Is that something? Oh, we've got like three double doors, but we don't really have an attack on the king. So even if we dropped it back, they could just bring their queen back and support. If they did that, we'd take, and then they take. So instantly thinking there's some sort of back ranky thing. We go here, it's not forcing. Bishop doesn't have any protection either, but we're not hitting that. Queen's coming here, their queen. We're hitting this pawn. Is there a way of getting rid of this pawn to then double whammy it? If the rook did take. Let's say the king did take. Then this rook comes up and puts a check on the king. And it's saying to itself, oh, I don't really want to go back here. So it goes here. Then the queen can come here. And there, and then it's checkmate, isn't it? So I think the rook is taking this pawn, but I suppose the way it, in it is, it is forcing them, isn't it? Because if they don't take that pawn, then we just go here and get checkmate. So I think the rook is taking this pawn. And we said this is coming up here. Putting a check on. Oh, do you know, stop myself, stop myself, stop myself first. Oof. Damn, just seeing it now. If we do bring this up, he can just do this, can't he? So is it this? But the queen can't do it by itself. So if we brought the rook up, put a check on, the rook comes down. Oh man, I thought it was a simple operation. Now it's not looking so simple anymore. Because we don't want to lose tempo and then they just come and get a back ranker with the queen. Oh man. So the picture looked nice there, but then obviously Rook coming here defending. If the Rook puts a check on the King. So it's got a check, so they have to do something. And it's that process again of if the Queen doesn't take. If the Queen doesn't take, then the, we have the checks on the king to get some sort of checkmate. But if the queen does take, then we take. Yeah, so we go up, the rook comes to defend, we take, then the queen takes, then the queen takes with a check. 
So it's a queen against a rook and a bishop with multiple checks and some passed pawns. I'm daring to go with this. Oh, shh. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the last one. Bumped up 21 points. Hey. So we will be on 34, 23, 34 for the puzzles. Nice one. Bit of a bad start. Shaky middle and half decently confident ending.